Express LRS, your favorite topic, Blunty. Express LRS? Yes. It was, is yes. It, would you say it's your favorite topic? Uh, it's up there for sure. I mean, which I just love the pace, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which would you rather awesome. talk about with someone over, uh, over coffee? Cannabis or Express LRS? Uh, Express LRS because cannabis is like, it feels still like, feels like talking about my job still, you know? I like see. It feels like, I see. It feels very much like, uh, I don't know. I could talk way longer about cannabis, but I think right. Express LRS is more exciting for me right now, for sure. <laughs> All right. So Express LRS 2.0 is here, and the pace of development yes. is they added a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. You sent so, me a message. So just a quick disclaimer. So this is a release candidate. Um, yeah, don't show that on stream. So the thing okay, I, I won't show that on stream. Yeah, that's, okay. that's why I sent that separate from everything. So you should, I shouldn't show uh, it on stream? No, we're just going to talk about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so, uh, but basically, if you go to the releases page, the uh, so we can see that RC one releases page. Okay, hang on. Um, that's the best way. Let me, way get, rid of, let me get rid of this one that we're not supposed to show on stream. Um, um, it's just a it's just a pre release release notes. That's all. It's yes. nothing like it's people not like are gonna be like, oh, what is it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Express LRS releases tag two point RC one. There you go. Yeah. So this is release candidate one. So remember, this is release candidate, not release. So if you're flashing this and you're messing with this, it is possible there's some bugs. That's this has like been tested a lot, but it hasn't been tested totally. That's the whole point. Um, but basically, uh, uh, if you are interested, it would be awesome if you guys could flash this after we talk about it and you do a little research because they definitely want people to test this and make sure everything's working properly. Um, so I did that this morning. Um, and it was super easy, so as expected. But a lot of cool changes here, a lot of great changes. I um, mean, I kind of wanted to run through just a few of them that I thought were really cool. One of them there we see is wide switch mode. So wide switch mode um, is allowing finally, you know, we've had a limited number of switches, uh, a limited number of positions on our switches because ExpressLRS sends, you know, those, those smaller amounts. Well, now there's a new mode called wide switch mode. And this mm -hmm. mode will allow you to have either 64 or 128 positions uh, on your switches. Nice, nice. And it looks like the default setting is one two position switch for arming, which is always going to be aux one. That's standard with Express LRS. And then seven, uh, six or seven bit. Uh, so either yeah. 64 or 128 positions. Yeah, it's uh, dependent on your telemetry ratio, I believe, is, is what dictates interesting. Uh, the wide switches mode. So, so that's going to change without notification. Uh, people should be aware of that. If you had some logic that was based on 128 positions specifically and you changed your telemetry ratio, it might change to 64. Although it's hard to imagine like an aux switch setup where that difference would really matter. But it, it will get somebody someday. Yeah, anything less frequent than 1, 8 gets 7 bit and 1, 2 and 1, 4 ratios get 6 bit. So. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, so there's also a new Lua. So that's a big thing. Um, I've got a uh, image for you if you go to the um, the fourth link in our show notes. Okay. I've got a link to uh, this one, the new Lua. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> that one. Um, so this is where you'll download that Lua. Um, actually, sorry, go to the sixth link. The sixth link, sure thing. My bad. Running on yeah, Agent so, Light. Oh yeah. Yes. This is hot. Well, yes. So. Um, so this is the this is one thing you can do with the Lua now. So instead of the base Lua, um, you can now use Agent Light, and Agent Light has all the same features as the base Lua, um, if you need to. Or there's a new V2 Lua. So if you mm -hmm. click on the fifth link, sorry, there's a couple links That's okay. here. That's okay. If you click on the fifth link, um, you'll see how to get the new V2 Lua. Um, okay. So you want to make sure um, if you scroll down here, you'll just click that Lua there. Um, mm -hmm. And then you'll go right click on raw in GitHub if you just so people can see. Oh. I think people get confused when they go to GitHub and they don't know how to yeah. download a Lua or something. So if you click on it? the file. Yeah. Um, so you go, what you gotta do, hang on, let me zoom out here. What you gotta do is go on the on the GitHub, you're gonna go to where are we going? ELRS.lua. Just click uh, V2. And then you're gonna, you want the V2. Oh my bad. ELRS yeah. V2.lua. And then yep. you have to right click the raw button and save link as. Yep. You cannot just click the raw button. It doesn't work. And if you click the raw button and do right click save as, it might, it doesn't work because it's trying to save it as a text file. It's so confusing. So confusing yeah. and annoying. So that's temporary. That's, we are in release candidate. So just mm -hmm. so you know, 
Yeah. Uh, but that's how you'll get the V2 Lua currently. Yeah. I uh, love that you can run, you can, it's compatible with TPS Agent Lite now, just because that's such a cheeky thing to do. <laughs> yeah. They just went through and made sure all, it was all compatible and all cleaned up for their own Lua and also for it you know, agent light and stuff. So, um, okay. yeah, but so now there's, uh, in addition to, you know, the stuff, we saw, there's a ton more features, a uh, model match is finally in people have asked for model match for a while. Um, there's a Bluetooth joystick mode. So you just set a click and then you can it automatically broadcast Bluetooth from an ESP module. Um, and then you can wow. connect to anything. Bluetooth Cause the ESP and, modules have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. Yes. And it's like, okay, yeah, we got Bluetooth. Great. I mean, there's yeah, people out there selling a Bluetooth based <clears throat> Orca. There's people out there selling a Bluetooth based joystick module for, I don't know. I don't know how I much, but I don't know. I think it's 40 Orca FPV JR. Looks like it's 24.99 euros. The FPV 28, 29 euros. Okay. So you're saying basically everyone who has an express LRS module, an EP module has this. For Correct. this thirty dollar thing, for free. Yep. Sweet, sweet. Um, also, uh, just for so I got a bunch of questions in the chat, which is great. People are excited. So North Forty Nine RC says, "I just reflashed my EOS gear and didn't see two point You do have to click pre-release on the configurator. There's a little button uh, under your dropdown or above your dropdown. You just click pre-release, and then two will show up. Pacific Northwest says, to, "So the two point Lua from the configurator doesn't work." As far as I know, the configurator is still feeding you a 1.0 Lua. It might give you 2.0, but I believe there's specific directions to download it from the GitHub because you need to do that still. So uh, that would be my suggestion. If you use the old Lua, it will not work anymore. Other big caveat with ExpressLRS v2 um, is that there is currently no SPI target. Uh, so the SPIs are all still 1.0. So you, because you can't update them, you should not use 2.0 yet. And that'll be happening soon. So Okay. Yeah, one of the things that uh, I saw people discussing was if you have an SPI-based receiver, which today is basically just the Happy Model Flight Controller, I think. Um, uh, I think HLRC has one, maybe. Do they? I think. I didn't know I that. Think so. I think there's two or three of them, yeah. It, how do you, because that code is built into Betaflight, the Betaflight target, when a, when a release comes out, how is that updated, Blunty? Do you know? Is, is ELRS yeah, it's, managing it's, it's, that repo? I'm not, I'm not sure who's managing it, but I know it is baked in and I think they're PRing it and then somebody is like accepting it basically. Hmm. I think, I think maybe it has been PR'd, but not accepted yet or it's is about it, to be done. Is it in the beta flight configurator? Uh, it basically how it works is if you have the right version of the, um, flight control software, mm -hmm. then it automatically selects it for you. Hmm. And then it's like, it like uses that receiver protocol automatically. So I don't believe it's but like... I it either they might have just added it, but I believe it's blank in the configurator when you go to your receiver protocol um, on the SPS. No, I, so I think you're talking about the receiver protocol, but I mean when yeah. you're let's say you're going to flash it in the Betaflight configurator. Yes. So yes. you go to Betaflight configurator, you pull down Happy Model SPI ELRS whatever the target is. That yeah. is the last time that Betaflight released a dot release four two eight. But ever since Betaflight yeah. released four two eight, there's a ton of releases of Express LRS that now have not been rolled back into the beta flight version Correct. for this flight controller. Is, yeah. I don't think any of them, I, I don't, I don't think they're in configurator. They might be, I think they're all four, okay. three, um, targets. So like you got to download them manually. I believe you're downloading manual hexes for them, uh, currently, but, uh, Wesley okay. says Phobos, one of the beta flight devs is managing it. Um, it's and yeah, still, it's, it's still its own company. repo though. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's to me. That's that's uh, for all the performance-related reasons to get an SPI-based Express Alerts receiver. It feels to me like that is a big downside. Is that you're relying on you just have to go to this GitHub repo to get this custom firmware instead of just flashing through the configurator, and you're relying on this single point of failure. No offense to Phobos uh, for incorporating those changes. Um, like for example, can I download if I have a Happy Model receiver with SPI? You just said I can't get RC of Express LRS 2.0. I, if I want to try that out, I'm just out of luck. So, yeah, um, not really relevant. I think I'll have one news. available soon, but yeah, it's, it's, this, it's similar to the other things we've talked about where there's that delay because we have to wait on the yeah, yeah. SME to custom make it. So, 